Hey everybody, Chris here, and uh, this is my uh, first comic book review. Uh, I guess you can call this episode one. Uh, you can call the intro, I guess, episode zero then. Uh, and before we get started, I'd like to mention something about my comic books. Sadly, there are no comic book stores around my area, and um, so most of my com all my comic books I get uh, via the internet. Uh, to be more precise, MidtownComics.com. I'll put a link up here, or I'll put a link up to the site on my description box. Uh, and uh, that's where I get all my comic books. They do great service. Um, here's the thing, though. The reason I mention that is because uh, my comics I ordered from last week have not arrived yet. They're probably going to arrive tomorrow. Today's Sunday. I don't know when I'm going to post this video up. And usually my comic books get delivered on a Friday or a Saturday. Um, I don't know why there was a delay. Maybe there was a problem at the post office. Whatever. It happens sometimes. And I guess I will be getting my comic books uh, tomorrow. Uh, so instead of doing my comic book review on comic books from last week, I'm going to be doing my comic book reviews on comic books uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I was originally going to do that anyway. Um, I do, however, have another comic book that was suggested to me um, by one of my friends that I picked up. Uh, I picked up the first uh, part of um, the series. And I did get one comic book from this week, and I'll explain why. Uh, basically, I got two. I had to, re I had to order this comic comic book that comic book separate from the others and you guys will understand the reason afterwards and I'll review that comic because I did look through it that, that already that look indicates it was really uh, <laughs> anyway okay so um, as you guys can see we have a huge pot we have a nice sized pile of comic books here there was a lot two weeks ago that I picked up so Let's get started. Um, remember, these comics are from two weeks ago, so if you want to pick any of these up, you got to go two weeks back. Now, first comic book. Uh, I'm going to go from Marvel to D DC in this uh, review. Uh, sometimes the comics will be random. Sometimes they'll be categorized. I only order really from Marvel and DC. Very rarely do I order from what I'd like to call the other non-mainstream uh, comic companies. Anyway, first comic book on the review. <sighs> Anti-Venom, New Ways to Live. And this is part two of three. Uh, part one, really fast, uh, got me interested. I was interested to just see what Eddie Brock was doing. Anti-Venom is, of course, Eddie Brock. And, you know, I was watching it, and it kind of interested me. I was like, okay, let's see what this comic series is, because I collect Amazing Spider-Man. Figured maybe this would have something to do with it. Of course, it doesn't. It's all about Eddie Brock. Um, you know, his anti-Venom powers are for healing. First of all, before I get into this story, I'm not for the anti-venom. I think there should have just been one venom. It should have been Eddie Brock. I don't know why they gave the venom suit to um, Gargan, who is also known as the Scorpion in The Amazing Spider-Man. I won't get into that. I think at some point anti-venom should go and it should just be venom. My opinion, if you guys like anti-venom, that's great. I don't know. I just can't get used to that. I mean, Carnage is dead also, so but I, your preference. I'm buying the story. Uh, in this issue, basically, it takes up where the last issue left off, where um, Punisher capped a huge shotgun shell right into Anti-Venom's head. Um, he thinks he killed Anti-Venom. Of course, he didn't. You know, a little <laughs> coming out of the... You know, you know the costume. If you know Venom, you know his, You know how the suit works. So he comes back, and they steal uh, Eddie's girl, who he cured, who is a junkie. Um, and... Uh, she goes to that, to, they take her to Mexico to wherever the cartel is, uh, the drug dealing cartel. And um, basically Punisher wants to chase after them. Anti-Venom wants to tag along to get back his girl. I can't, I don't even know if she's his girlfriend, whatever. Anyway, so the whole issue, is, it's, it's like a comedy shtick. It's, Punisher's trying to kill Venom, you know, every two seconds, every three pages you see Punisher trying to take a, to kill him or to shoot him or to whatever. And it just doesn't work. And I guess it's funny, I mean... I guess the issue's all right. Uh, I picked it up. I'm happy. It's okay. Um, I'd say it's a good issue. I mean, if you're a Punisher fan, absolutely pick it up. I mean, you'll love it. It's classic Punisher. Um, it, I don't know. I'd say the comic book's good. If you're interested, if you got the first part, get this. If you want to jump on point, I wouldn't jump on on this. I'd get the first issue, then this. It's all right. It's an okay series so far. Uh, hopefully, part three will be better. It'll like end at a better, a higher note than this one did. And oh, the last page though was really cool. Let me got let me show you guys the last page. It's a huge spoiler. It's gonna be a spoiler somewhere on the screen right now. It was a sick splash page and this is the last page. My director cameraman can zoom in. Can you see it? Okay. Got it? And that's it. It was a nice page. Anti Venom going nuts. I'm sensing I'm sensing inner venom in him, just the regular venom 
get him in that issue. So yeah, that's that. Next one, what do we have here? I'm going to get criticism from this one, because a lot of people say this is retarded to do, and I kind of agree. Spider-Man Clone Saga Part 2. Basically, they are retelling the Clone Saga the way it's supposed to be told. Um, I read Part 1. It's interesting, you know. Uh, for those of you who, um, I love the Scarlet Spider-Man, by the way. When I was a kid, I always got the Scarlet Spider-Man comics, you know. Always pick it up. I don't know where I put them. They're, they're somewhere around. This is back when I was a kid, and I just bought comic books for the pictures and stuff. Anyway... Um, it's good. It's all right. I, I think they should have left the Clone Saga in the past. I really do. I don't see the whole bringing back Ben Riley thing as an important thing from, from Spider-Man right now. You know, I think they should first come back from that Mary Jane uh, tragedy they did and stuff like that. But I, if you didn't see the first Clone Saga and you want to jump onto that, I guess start here. If you read the first Clone Saga and want to see what they're changing, which really, it's up to you. Uh, it's here. A lot of people, a lot of comic collectors say don't get this. It's not really that good. I guess it's all right. I don't. It's up to you. This is like an up to you thing. I'm I'm buying it just to because I don't have the original, just to see what the Clone Saga was about. It's all right so far. It's okay. Four more issues. We'll see how that goes. Okay, what's next? New Avengers number fifty-eight. Luke Cage had a heart attack in fifty-seven, and he has. Uh, for those of you who don't know Luke Cage, he has. He's invulnerable. You can't rip his, you can't hurt him at all. So how are you going to operate on somebody who's invulnerable? Well, the uh, Dark Avengers have a machine known as the Power Drainer. So basically, Luke Cage um, goes to, he surrenders himself so the Dark Avengers could um, take him and uh, basically uh, save his life. And a little spoiler here, in the last page, Bullseye, uh, also known as Dark Hawkeye, uh, he says, why don't we just kill him? And Norman Osborn says, well, he, mean, he, he could mean a lot more, to, he means a lot more to us. So I'm guessing Luke Cage is going to be some kind of plan that uh, Norman Osborn throws at the New Avengers. It's the only Avengers title I collect at this moment. Uh, don't pick up Mighty Avengers, it's a piece of crap as far as I hear it. Uh, Dark Avengers, I don't know. It's okay. It depends on what series you're jumping in on. So what, this comic is good. Uh, there's a good fight scene between the Dark Avengers and the fleeing uh, New Avengers in the sewers. Yes, in the sewers. Um, it's all right. It's a good fight. It was a good fight. It was actually pretty good. It was a good escape, and uh, they got away. And you get a little bit more into the Red Hood, what, what's going on with him. All right, so I'd say pick it up. It's all right. It's a good comic. If you like the Avengers, you'll kind of like this. Um, and yeah. All right, Ultimate Armor, Ultimate Comics. I'm sorry, they want to change it now. Ultimate Comics, Armor Wars, number two, part two of four. That's good. You know, Ultimate Comics was always good. They always had that little edge. You know, Tony Stark looking for a um, person who stole his armor. Uh, he goes uh, off. He finds a few people who have been uh, stealing his armor. You know, a little uh, ring of people who have been taking his armor and selling it. He's trying to find out who the main guy is. You know, find out and get all his armor and ship back. So it's good. It, it, it had a moment. It had its moments. The last page was good with uh, Tony Stark uh, going up against uh, a female uh, Iron Maiden, I guess, thing. You can see the... I'll show you guys the last page on this one. It was pretty good. It was pretty epic. It sets up for the next uh, issue. Here's the last page. Nice flash artwork. See right there. I'll try to give you guys some inner artwork. Um, like I said, this is my first... Um, issue. This is my first episode, so bear with me the first few episodes. Things will get better. Work on a few things, you know, me and Mike will work on a few things, see how things go. So would I say pick this up? Absolutely. It's a good comic, good work, and stuff like that. And as I'm being told, we're at nine minutes, so I'll take this, because we're on YouTube and we have a ten minute rule, I will take this into part two with the next comic book. So I will catch you guys in part two of my episode one comic review. So I'll catch you there soon.